Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of August the 22nd, 2024, a Thursday. So here we are after the FOMC and uh, not much has changed. What we're looking for is a retest as we discussed of the previous pivot, at which point we will want to tighten our stops and perhaps even remove profits and see what happens from there. So that could be a the beginning of a new story. All right, let's look at the other ones, but I didn't really see anything earth shaking. So if you're managing positions, look at this on the NQ, there's a little bit more distance to go to the previous stop. And the farthest distance, just to note, is on the RTY. Here we go. So whether we test this like the others are likely, well, that's up in the air. There's no guarantee. Right now, there is a long trade in progress on the RTY. Hopefully, this will start to work itself to the upside tomorrow. And let's look at currencies on which we have done some stellar work lately, but now... These moves are just about done unless you are trailing and you're still holding something here under the low of the previous day. Otherwise, just watch the top candles and there could be one more push to the upside, something like this in the next day or two, just to test 125. And the other ones are very similar. Let me show you the 6A on which we're looking for a pullback and the pullback may be coming. So be on the lookout for this tomorrow. Ideally, this is what we want, something like this on the daily chart, and then we could position ourselves for a potential retest of the 168. So that's a possibility for the rest of the week. And let's see what else. Otherwise, 6J is one which could still work. You see, these are the ones, well, the daily is extended, but we have a pullback trade on the, actually could be a long position already on the four hour chart. And if you happen to be long or if you're considering one, just put your stop below this. If this breaks, then probably it's not something I would want to be in. And uh, not the best ideal conditions because of this blowback candle on the daily chart. But we have seen surprises before, so consider your risk and make a decision. Okay, and then MBT, we were talking about being bullish on Bitcoin, and that bullishness is now working out, slowly but surely, as things are now. We, everything we say, we say based on information which is available now. Here we go, but right now, this is what we're looking for. Short term, probably something like this. Long term, 100,000 or 80 as a first step on the weekly chart. Okay, and then precious metals. I think there's further potential here in gold. Look at this bull flag. So 3,000. These uh, psychological numbers don't really have a meaning on the chart, but for many people they might. So we'll see what uh, happens on gold. And our other focus here is, of course, silver, as it has been for a while. And we are looking at the weekly chart, you see, so there's no rush, but if this gets going, we could be in a good trade. If you're trading on a smaller time frame, then, well, of course, what you'll be looking for, I think, is four hour pullbacks. Just remember, anything less than four hour is um, not so easy on precious metals and on any market for that matter, in my opinion. So I would try to just uh, keep an eye on the bigger picture here, four hour and daily, and make decisions based on those time frames. I think it's more beneficial in the long run. I just want to say one word about treasuries, which we traded a few weeks ago, and there are bull flags here, but the reason I'm not too active here because of these blowout candles, you see, this is not a situation I really want to be in. They could go to the upside, yes, but these charts just don't look too ideal for me. Look at this. The four hours looks good, but the daily is not something I want to be in. And last but not least, wheat, after three, four days of cautiously or patiently rather watching, wheat finally triggered today. Look at this little intraday breakdown around 10 a.m. And this could now go to, well, actually, I don't think we need a big stop like this. I think something like this I would be content with something like this okay so if you want to participate perhaps and if you're not short yet 
then, well, you know, the usual procedure, just look for a bear flag on a smaller chart. Take the bear flag on the smaller chart. Just remember that the stop should still be based on the daily. So the precision entry, like a laser surgery, okay, it's just for precision, but risk management should still be based on the daily chart because I think that's where, that's what's guiding this move. Okay, so it's been a long day and we also have a late August special. We sent out another email, so have a look at that too. And hopefully we'll see each other very soon, one way or the other. We're also planning some strictly technical software sessions. So if you're interested in those, we really want our audience to master our software and to understand the power and to put it to good use also. And um, if you are interested in that kind of course, then send us an email. Other than that, we'll be back in the morning. And until then, mindful trading.